episode three, KNX Top Tips, Master Slave. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can connect multiple different motion sensors together to expand the detection area of uh, the sensor. So the first thing we need to do in ETS is uh, click on plus next to general and go to the advanced mode. We need to configure um, the master stage functionality parameter to be um, in the instance that we're configuring the master, we need to configure it to be a master. You'll notice that the, the default is standalone. So by default, there are no master slave group objects visible. So to make them visible, we need to um, select whether this device is going to be a master, i.e. the one that is responsible for controlling the lights or the HVAC or whatever the motion sensor is configured to do, um, or the slave, um, which is the device that is responsible for increasing the detection area of the master by adding an additional sensor. So first of all, let's look at the master. So if we configure a motion sensor to be a master, you'll notice that you've got two new master group objects. You've got the master motion input that's going to come from the slave into the motion into the master, and then the master reset output. Both of these group objects need to be connected to two separate group addresses. The master motion input group address will be connected to the slave motion output group address. So when the slave detects some motion, it will send a one bit telegram to the master to say, hey, I've detected some motion over here. You need to either reset your timeout or if there was a timeout running or activate the lights and turn them on. We then need to connect the master reset output to the slave reset input. The reset is used to reset the locking timer that runs inside the slave if the, mo if the master times out. And why that's important is because you don't want the master to time out and the slave still to be locked and then you're moving around in front of the slave and the slave isn't updating the master with the motion, a motion sensing event. So that's the configuration for the master. Let's go back and have a look at the slave. So if we we're configuring this for a slave, then we would have um, two, um, you'll notice all the other parameters are gone because the slave isn't responsible for running any functions. It's only responsible for notifying the master that motion has been detected underneath it. So here we've got the motion, um, motion output, um, which is gonna be connected to the, the master motion input. Uh, and the slave reset input, which is going to be connected to the master reset output. So two different group, um, group addresses there. Um, the only parameter that you have to configure for a slave in, in addition to the, the, the selection here is the slave output locking time. So this is the duration of time, or, or it sets the maximum uh, period of or frequency um, in which the slave can send updates to the master. So let's give an example. So if you're sitting in a room and you're moving around and the slave detects that you're moving around, it will send a one bit telegram to the master to say, hey, I've detected motion. If you carried on moving around, the slave isn't going to continually send one bit telegrams because that would flood the bus. It's going to wait for 10 seconds to elapse and then it's going to send another one, assuming that you're moving constantly. So that's what the locking time is. It's just a period of time that the slave is going to wait before updating the master that motion has been detected again. And if any of the functions on the master time out, then that reset light, there's going to be a one bit one sent on the reset um, group object, which is going to be received by the slave and the slave will reset that locking time. So as soon as you move, the lights will turn back on again. Um, so it's really important that you connect both the motion um, um, input and output to a, a one group ad uh, address and then the reset input and output to a separate group address. So you do need to connect both of them. So that's it. How to configure the uh, motion sensor 360 KNX in master slave mode.